incarcerated seven years for armed robbery while he was supposed to be at Tech. Okay? <laughs> so I didn't have the problem here. I'm blaming the whole, I'm blaming Tech because if I send him to school, how he ended up on Michigan Road robbing somebody.
other students. She goes to him and he takes up, he finds out, he gets to the root of the problem. Now, our teachers in this class, this school, not often, nobody's perfect, not even you. So why is it that when he's not allowed to make these mistakes, why can we not learn or get to the root of the issue? Why is it that he has to be able to let go? Because all these students that I've talked to, they love him. He listens to what they have to say. Why is it a teacher has to go to him and control the students? Our students need to not only come here to learn, but get guidance. And you don't provide that. I don't see you in any of the student schools. You've sent students to schools where they didn't belong. But once the, the students do get to a place where they do belong and they get the structure, that not only do they not get at home, but they get at school. Both at home and school combined together we make a team. Yes. And if we can all do that, and we all stick together and make our children come from F's, clear up here to the A's, why not I'm let that place. program work?
time. Yes. That's why Mr. Carlson is working here this year. We took that into time last year when we didn't get rid of Mr. Carlson. So what's That's why he's still here this year. We've taken a lot into time, Mr. Carlson. Sorry. Hey, uh, you're getting rid of Mr. Coffey, so we can have a better learning environment so we can learn more and our test scores go up, correct? No, it goes a lot deeper than that. Uh, this school has the potential to be one of the best schools in the country. In order for that to happen, we got to raise the level of commitment from the top of the school to the bottom. And that means that the leadership must not only have a great relationship with students, but they also must set direction and be and provide instructional leadership for the teachers, for you guys, the students, for the administrative staff and everybody else. In order to get to where we need to get to, we can't have teachers saying people are allowed to do whatever they want to do. We can't have teachers saying we have a crazy freedom here. Because quite frankly, you can't do that freedom when you're here if not know what you should do. So I'm still uh, standing here tonight, listening to what you're saying about what this man has done for you, weighing that against these other things that that I have on my mind. So